did Trump raise interest rates in China or did the Chinese raise interest rates in China? The, the PBOC and in Hong Kong, both monetary authorities raised interest rates overnight. Uh, understand that they are raising interest rates, particularly in China, into a slowdown, okay? So that's bad. And the market continues to ring the bells of global divergences. The most obvious thing, I shouldn't even use words today, do we need to have any discussion about this? That to me looks like a lot of red, okay? Uh, it's only red. And that is one of the main reasons why this morning uh, you see this move in European bond yields. Again, no words, just the numbers. So what happened yesterday? Everybody's sitting there saying, ooh, look at this. He looks like he could be hawkish. Ten-year yield starts climbing, goes to the top end of the risk range, backs off. As Powell says, I don't see a breakout in inflation. Because there is no breakout in inflation from a data perspective, certainly if you look globally. But if you look lo locally, it's just sidewaydness. Yellen and Bernanke, most specifically, would basically tell reporters what the data should be doing. Tell people how they should think about economics. This guy's not doing that. He's talking about what the data is doing. He's not opining ideologically on the Phillips curve, okay? I thought that was great. I think that's great.